With the caps torqued in place, we can see that the main tunnel side on the cap is slightly smaller than the main tunnel side on the block, and that's presented here in this lip at the parting line. The next step we'll take is to put the block in a line bore and remove material from the cap, not the block, before we prep it for the align hone. With the caps fitted in the registers, the next step is the line bore machine. The line bore machine uses a shaft supported by three independent bearings to keep that shaft from deflecting or moving around during cutting, and a cutter is piloted through the main bore. Now, the object of the game is to take off the material from the cap, not so much material off the block. You don't want to be removing material from the block, but you do need to get the material that's in the line bore back to being completely straight and true. It's a long engine and things do move around a bit during operation. So you're gonna have a different size and different position main bore in the center than on the ends, just because of the nature of operation. The, the crank's moving in the engine, the casting's moving around. There's a certain amount of movement present. And the line bore is an opportunity to get all that straightened out and true while fitting your new main caps. Small amounts of material will be removed from the main cap as the cutter is passed through the main tunnel. And again, you're gonna take hopefully less than a thousandth off of the block side of the main journal. Reason being is if you go hogging material out of that main journal, you're gonna be moving the crank position in the engine, which then can create oil pump alignment issues. Now that you're armed with the information of how the line bore works, you understand that no, you cannot put main caps on at home. You must line bore the block. Once the line bore is completed before the block goes into the line hone for final honing, you're gonna check the thrust. So the thrust surfaces, as far as the width of the thrust in the block and the width of the thrust on the cap is correct. However, the cap is gonna sit down in that register and there may be a certain amount of off location left or right. So then you true the space of the thrust to make sure that the thrust bearings are free to float. Thrust placement and bearing placement is critical to avoid crank walk. This is probably one of the most involved processes that you have to get right and this is why it needs to go to an experienced machine shop. This machine is not uh, an advanced machine. It takes an advanced operator to have the right outcome. 